it feels good to be back in here. This weekly video stuff, I don't know, I'm, I'm liking it, but I'm not liking it because I'm not creating as much as I want, but my schedule right now is just hectic. Anyways, today is kind of a special day, or this week rather, is kind of special because this week, a couple days ago, marks the one year anniversary. Yes, that's right. The one year anniversary. Anniversary of what, you might ask? Well, the one year anniversary of my back surgery. In case you didn't know, in case you're new, I've had back surgery. I, I had three levels of spinal fusion. What does that mean? I have uh, three spacers taking up where my discs would be. So there's spacers in between my vertebrae. And I have two, four, six, eight screws in my back and two rods in my back. There's a lot of hardware in my back, a lot of metal in my back. I need a little card at the airport that says, hey, these metal detectors are going off because I got hardware in my back. No other reason. So yes, one year, after my back surgery. What does this mean for me? Well, okay, little backstory, no pun intended. I d experienced foot drop, which is basically your foot becoming paralyzed. I can't move my foot well before I had back surgery. So much to the point where it wasn't getting better. I wasn't seeing a return. I couldn't move my toes anymore. It wasn't coming back. I couldn't move my foot anymore. And it was, it, we better go see a surgeon. So we scheduled all that stuff, met with the surgeon, scheduled the surgery. And in between the time of meeting with the surgeon, actually having the surgery, a few months passed just because of scheduling and all that stuff. And my back and my foot got worse. And hopefully the surgery was going to alleviate my foot drop. Hopefully it was gonna alleviate the paralyzation of my foot. Unfortunately, to this date, a year later, my foot's pretty much the same. If anything, my foot, I can move it that much more, which is really nothing. So that aspect, it might take a while. It, I'm still hopeful, knocking on wood, that my foot's gonna come back and it's not gonna be permanently paralyzed. I'm hoping. But aside from that, I mentioned that for a very key reason because if I'm gonna say, was the back surgery successful? In that aspect, at the moment, I'm gonna say no. But if I took that out element out, and realize that I still have back pain because my foot isn't working and because I walk funny, I lift my foot up a little bit higher on that side, I'm not walking like normal. My hips are shifted, everything's out of alignment. If I take all of that out of the equation, then yeah, I would say my back surgery knock on wood went well. Uh, but because of my foot, because of my back, I, I walk weird, I'm shifted, and I have back pain, especially on my right side and it hurts. It's not quite, it's not the sharp nerve pain like before, but it's it's definitely a muscle ache and on soreness and all that stuff. And it, nothing has been debilitating like before. I can sneeze and all that stuff at the moment to where before if I sneezed, I would be out for months, not being able to move, lying on the floor, crying. So if I put all of that into perspective and kind of gauge how the back surgery went, I, it was an absolute must because of the issues I was having with my foot, it had a, there was no way. I mean, like, you're, the disc is pushing on your spinal nerve column, causing these problems. And in fact, when the surgeon was in there working on everything, somebody, or him, or somebody came out to my wife and said, was your husband in a bad car accident? Which I was not. But my nerves were so compressed and so damaged that they had, uh, they had a fun time reconstructing them. And there was scar tissue already in on my nerves and they took as much as much scar tissue off of my nerve as they could that scar tissue on the nerve is going to cause you pain it's going to cause issues because it's touching your nerve it's aggravating your spinal column and it's affecting everything else that was one of my biggest fears of having surgery but i already had that in my back before surgery think about that one yeah so a year later a year later i i'm definitely able to do more now than a few months after surgery. I would say a good six months after surgery, it was rough in the sense that I was limited in what I can do. I'm starting to do more now. Uh, this point in time right now, September, October time, historically has always been my worst for back issues. This is the time now when I would sneeze and then be out for months. So we'll see coming into the colder months as winter approaches, how I'm gonna be. I think I'm gonna be okay. No nerve pain. Is there no shooting pains down the leg or anything like that? No, I need to go to the hospital right now moments, which I would have every four to six months before surgery. Um, can I lift stuff? Yeah, but I haven't been pushing it. I can pick my kids up and such. I have issues here and there. I do notice 
above my incision, above where the hardware is, the next level up. It feels kind of funky, and I definitely have a weird noise in my back that sounds like a squeaking floor. It's nothing to worry about as far as I know, as far as I've been told, but it's just weird when I'm lying down in bed at night. I move just right, and it, it sounds like the floor is squeaking. It's weird. Aside from that, no major issues aside from my foot not working. That's my biggest thing right now. Is, is, is if that doesn't come back, well, that, that's really life-changing to realize that I got a limb that I can no longer control. I got a limb that I got an appendage that's paralyzed. Think about it, if it was your hand. If that was my hand, and I can no longer move this hand, well, that's a big life change. It's no different than with my foot. Yeah, I'm not like, you know. I don't know, but I'm walking and I can't walk right and it, it causes problems. So aside from that, there's there's always fear with having a spinal fusion that the discs above and below the fusion are going to have more stress and then you're going to need surgery on those later on. I don't know. As long as I behave and I'm not doing anything crazy and I'm lifting the way I should be lifting, I'm working out, doing my exercises, doing my physical therapy, doing the things that I need to do. I, I kind of think I'm going to be all right. I don't see that you're going to stress that out unless I'm jumping around everywhere, unless I'm lifting and, and doing things wrong to where I'm putting more stress on that disc. But if I'm doing things correctly in the way I should be, I should be fine. As long as I'm strengthening everything else up and I know my limitations, I should be okay. But that's always a fear. And believe me, I tried every conservative method that I could try before surgery. I tried it for eight almost nine years to avoid surgery. And I, I put it off as long as I could. In my opinion, I put it off way too long because now I got this foot issue. If I had had surgery a year earlier, I probably wouldn't have this foot issue and I would be like, you know, 95% healed, I would say. But unfortunately, my bullheadedness, my stubbornness, I waited just a little bit too long to have surgery. Honestly, I think the easiest part of having back surgery was having the back surgery, just going through that recovery. Looking back on it now, the recovery part from the back surgery was the fastest part of this whole year. It was maybe, I would say the first two weeks were definitely the roughest and the first month, but after that, everything's kept getting easier and easier and easier. Now, with me, it's, it's it might be a different case than yours, but like I said, with that foot, the, having to come with the realization of that foot being paralyzed might very well be permanent. That's more stressful and, and more of a pain in the butt to me than I, I would rather go through surgery, back surgery again if it meant that I could have my foot back. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see in the next year what I, I might be running around, you know, for all I know. So if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below, especially if it relates to back issues, back surgery, spinal fusions, anything like that. Leave me a question. Maybe I can give you some insight. Maybe I can help answer something because I found videos like this helpful for me before I was going into surgery. It, it was just comforting to watch and hear somebody else going through the same things that I was gonna be going through. So you might not be going through this yourself, but you may know somebody that does. And if you do, definitely share this video with them because like I said, it helped me out a lot. It might help somebody else out. That's really what I'm trying to do here is trying to help and give information that you may not be getting I mean I, I, I'm living it so I can definitely give my opinion on it on that I will definitely see you on the next one. Oh, in case you're new here I don't always talk about my back especially now since it's a year later I talk about a variety of other things so every Thursday at 4:45 in the morning you're definitely gonna find a new video right now and I might even increase that a little bit because I was doing daily so I might increase it to two to three times a week we'll see once my schedule gets a little less hectic Anyways, if you're new, I definitely welcome you and, well, that sounded weird. I definitely welcome you and check out some of my other videos. There's lots of playlists to go through. There's lots of videos to watch where, well, we, we can get to know each other and throw a comment down below or in any video. And I'm going to respond as long as it's not some wacky comment, but just the same. I've done a rough rambling for today, so I will see you on the next one. I realized this was a long video. So I'm definitely going this time, but if you made it to the end, well, I thank you for it. And hopefully, hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully you were watching it for the purpose of that you have back issues yourself and you were just kind of curious what was going on. Like I said, leave me a comment below if you have any questions or anything like that. I'll, I'll, I'm going now and I'll see you on the next one.